guys, Exode here. Sorry to start such a big topic for an introduction, um, but uh, I'm new to the channel, as you can uh, probably tell here. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos for Super Auto Toaster and things like that. I think I'm featured in a video with um, Joe later on. We're going to be doing all sorts of gameplay. I'm going to be focusing on TF2 mainly, and that's the video I've come to bring you today. I'm sure some of you are aware that uh, there is something called beta maps for Team Fortress 2. And uh, one of those beta maps is um, RD Asteroid, I think. And that map, stand well, the RD first stands for Robot Defense. And the main objective of this is to uh, kill enemy players and sort of destroy their robots, as you'll see a picture of the robot on the screen here. Uh, they can be have broken variants and all of this. The limit to points on this map is 300, but you don't actually retrieve points from killing players or capturing points. It's all that revolves around this, these robots here. Um, so what you're going to be doing is destroying these robots, and you're going to be destroying like uh, the robots marked A, and after those are destroyed, you can move on to B and C. The B robots will become sort of invulnerable. It will look at the, uh, look like the Ubercharge texture. And to kill the robots past A point, you must eliminate all the robots at A. These robots, they're not too strong. Uh, it took me about four to five shots of the scatter guns to take them down. But both the teams are basically competing for these points from each of their robots. Meanwhile, you also have people running up to something called the reactor core, which is like, it sort of looks like the points you retrieve after killing a robot, but what it does is you can stay at the enemy spawn point, I believe there's a capture point behind like a laser fence, uh, and you stay there, and um, you just gather points by hanging on to this sort of capsule thing. And it will show you how many points you're holding on to at the moment, so after you're happy with the amount of points you have, so you can start stealing points from the enemy team basically, you can head back over to your spawn and drop off the uh, pod at uh, the other control point. And this will give your team the points that you have taken. This can be very effective and quick if it's done correctly. I mean, the point limit's only 300, which I think is quite fair. At the moment, the textures, you know, they're just beta te textures, so they'll obviously get replaced. Uh, reflectivity of 50% uh, and all of that default stuff. As for the robot textures, I think they look pretty good. Uh, as you can see here, the last robot, the C point, has a crown on it and everything to show it's the last point and everything. This will actually give you the most points for your team, uh, along with A and B giving, you know, uh, ascending points. The reason I'm not looking at the second map here, uh, you'll see a picture on the screen of it, is um, uh, the Texas Canyon map. The reason I'm not reviewing that one is because the video is centered around the moon base one. So yeah, also you can see uh, up here, there's a bit of, they did a bit of a early concept art for this moon base map. And that's why in the sort of the workshop you keep seeing moon items and all of this because people started anticipating it once they saw the actual update, which may have came out soonish, they were thinking. My thoughts on the game mode personally is, it's fun, it's entertaining, it's quite fast paced, but maybe it's a little bit complicated for TF2. Like, I don't know, some of you may find your it easy to get your head around and uh, easy to play, and sometimes it can be, you know, a bit boring and repetitive if you know, you just want to have a quick game of TF2, like, I don't know, CP can be very easy for that. Things like Arena, Payload is very fun. But this sort of game mode is all centred around waiting for the enemy to be unsuspecting, shooting from behind, getting to that capsule, gathering up the points while your team uh, destroys the robots. If you can see what I'm talking about here, it takes like quite a lot of organising and everything. Uh, team organisation, if you're determined to win, of course. Uh, it may be interesting to see this played in uh, TF2 leagues later on. Uh, I really don't know how that'll pan out for them, but uh, it'll be interesting to watch. I'll certainly be watching it. But uh, I believe this map was released on the 9th of uh, July. At least that's where I saw it. I must admit, I didn't play for that long. I uh, did have a good time with it, though. As you can see me here in the background, um, sort of playing with my friends, 
having a bit of fun. But uh, that's what TF2 is about at the end of the day. Just having a bit of fun and n not getting too serious about hats. It's just about the fun. Just remember that. But uh, sorry, quite a short video. This was just the main topic of discussion. I uh, fought for TF2 for a while. I know they're quite busy working on the new Source engine and uh, also End the Line, which is much anticipated. Haven't heard much news on it, but apparently there's going to feature new weapons and all sorts of things like that. It's going to be very cool. But so uh, yeah, this is just my video on uh, Moonbase. Well, not Moonbase, sorry. Uh, Asteroid. Always forget the name of it, sorry. So uh, if you liked it, uh, look at Super Ultra Toaster more often and, uh, you know, stay tuned for my videos and uh, there's a lot of other peop great people on uh, Super Ultra Toaster that you can watch. We sometimes do uh, big matches together and everything. But, you know, this is just my part of the channel and uh, I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Thank you. Goodbye.